Hello everyone, this is Dr. Abhinav. So in this video today, I'll be talking about the UPSC CMS upcoming exam and five important preparation strategies to boost up your rank. So uh, getting a good rank in UPSC CMS exam is very, very important because the chances of you being called for the interview depends on the marks you score. Plus, if you're scoring more marks, then the chance of getting the place of work that you want is small. So it's uh, very, very important to get very good rank in this exam. And I'll be telling you exactly the five preparation strategies which will help you boost up your rank. And I will also tell each, each what is the advantage of each strategy and how much mark you can get from each. Then the second part of this video is that I will also be telling you about the 100 must do most important topics for this exam. So if you're doing these topics, then I'm uh, very sure that you will easily clear this exam. So let's go. If you still haven't subscribed to your channel, please do subscribe. More uh, contents coming up. And uh, you can also join our Telegram group. The link is in description. You can have the disc your discussions, questions and queries there as well. So preparation tip number one, see the tables from the standard textbooks. So uh, there are many uh, textbooks, but for UPSC, these are the textbooks that I and UPSC suggest you to study. So for Medicine, Harrison's, Surgery, Bailey and Love, PSM Parks, OB Gaini, DC Data and Shah and Pediatrics Guide. So the tables from these textbooks are every time the questions are framed around the table or from the table itself. So there are uh, four or five uh, options given in uh, each table. Sorry, four or five answers given in each table. So what UPSC does is they take the uh, four or five things and put it in a question and ask you to choose either accept which is wrong or you can be asked which three are correct. So choose option one, two, three, one, three, one, only. So those kind of questions are very much framed from tables. So make sure you uh, go through important tables from all these subjects. And I'm sure that at least 75 questions out of the 240 questions will be from tables and it will uh, help you to pass as well as uh, boost your rank like anything. So it's very important. So tip number two is to incorporate topics. UPSC says they ask questions from Medicine, Surgery, PSM, Ops, Gynae and Pedia. But they also ask questions in the actual paper. There are questions from Physiology, Pharmacology. So when you study, I would uh, when you study medicine, I would suggest you to uh, go through physiology, pharma, patho, psychiatry, derma, and for surgery, correlate it with anatomy, radiology, plus orthopedics. For PSM, uh, PSM basically you'll have to study. And there is also some correlations with obstetrics and gynecology plus pediatrics. For ops gyne, there is some correlation with PSM, vice versa. For pediatrics, uh, basic pediatrics, neonatology, and biochemistry and genetics correlations are there. So when you correlate and study, you will get at least an, an, another 100 extra marks from these subjects. So it is very important to correlate. In the upcoming slides, I have also given the important topics from this correlation, correlated subjects. So make sure you study at least those topics. It is very important. So uh, even if you can't study all the topics, study at least the topics which I have given in the upcoming slides. And preparation tip three, solve MCQs as much as possible. So the advantages, one thing is that you will be able to solve the MCQs uh, in the exam paper in a faster way because you have practiced doing it. Plus uh, solving MCQs will boost up your overall performance and will uh, uh, train your brain in order to think like those, uh, how to solve MCQs quickly. For example, like in some MCQs, you might have to uh, uh, have to choose the correct option. Some MCQ, you have to uh, omit other options and uh, come up finally with one correct answer. So there are various methods to solve an MCQ. By solving more and more MCQs, 
you will uh, master the art in all the different ways how you can solve a uh, mcq so this is very important how to practice practice at least solving 100 mcqs per day and make sure it is also important to revise those mcqs uh, see which uh, things you have gone wrong and correct it also so it also helps you with keeping up uh, with the time for one mcq i would suggest you to at least solve it within 45 seconds to maximum 1 minute so the benefits of it of course of course boost uh, it boosts up your overall performance and your rank goes up like anything preparation tip 4 psm problems and updates so in psm every year the problem based questions are always there for example for odds ratio relative risk and mean median mode standard deviation those these are like standard questions uh, asked every year plus the important psm updates you can get it from the online websites or in telegram groups also so with this you might get at least 20 to 30 marks and uh, it is a decider because not all people will solve the uh, problem based questions very well so if you are able to solve these then you will stay ahead of them preparation five uh, tip five answer smartly so as you all know there is negative marks in this upsc cms exam so how many questions should you leave how many questions should you answer so for every correct answer you get 2.08 marks and for wrong answer you get uh, you are detected 0.69 marks so for example see if you are uh, taking a set of 10 questions and if you choose to answer all the 10 uh, uh, randomly without knowing any answer for example you might get at least four correct answers and six wrong answers for example if you get four correct answers you have got eight marks already if you have made six wrong answers so six into six it's like half of the mark only four marks is detected around four marks is detected so you see you have benefited another four marks so you the bottom line is that in 10 questions which you don't know anything you random you answer randomly and for example if you get four correct you get eight marks you get uh, so if four is correct then says six questions are wrong so uh, detecting the negative mark around four marks will be detected so in the eight marks you have got four will be detected and four you can take home so uh, don't be too lenient in uh, not attending the questions be very strict and i would advise at least a uh, minimum of five to seven questions for each paper you can do so more than that it's risky for you and uh, yeah so the benefit of this is this is the decider in the ranks so you might uh, uh, leave many questions at the same time your rank keeps on coming down but if you're answering many questions and uh, if you're doing it very well then definitely your rank is going to increase up and up so answering smartly is very important in this exam so coming to the part two the important must do topics i have given 100 important topics in this uh, video so make sure you should know all these 100 100 topics that i have given and if you know these 100 topics and practice mcqs i'm 100 percent sure that you will easily pass this exam and the ranks it based on how smartly you answer the questions so let's see the most important topics uh, i have not given it subject wise i have given it uh, uh, randomly and uh, uh, not just the important uh, the five mentioned subjects but i have also incorporated other uh, first year second year third year subjects in this so make sure you learn all of this so to start with heart murmurs and diseases coronary artery disease management stroke lo localization stroke syndromes Alzheimer disease, Parkinson disease, asthma and COPD management, tuberculosis, of course, very important, uh, community acquired pneumonia, treatment guidelines, pleural effusions, GIT malabsorption syndromes, liver cirrhosis, hepatitis, acute kidney injury, the guidelines, CKD and dialysis, dialysis indications, men syndrome, different types of men syndromes. So, this is very commonly asked. Diabetes, the pharmacological management, BKA, HHS management hypothyroidism the symptoms the signs seen hiv and aids treatment guidelines covid 19 sle antibodies very important hemolytic anemias neuro neurological tracts 
the motor and sensory tracks which supplies what what is the effect of each track all those things you need to know eeg and sleep patterns gi hormones and its effects glycogen storage storage diseases amino acids neoplasia genes and infections that cause certain cancers sickle cell anemia thalassemia leukemia and lymphomas the peripheral smear findings autonomic nervous system all drugs very important antibiotics and side effects antipsychotics hematology drugs very important gram positive gram negative bacteria schizophrenia psoriasis tuberous sclerosis neurofibromatosis shock and sepsis guidelines achalasia cardia and related conditions variceal bleed management upper gi bleed management acute pancreatitis scoring system all scoring systems are important in pancreatitis colorectal cancer syndromes thyroid cancer of course very very important carcinoid tumors breast benign conditions chest trauma and in head trauma sdh versus edh versus sh you should know how to differentiate between them now while you study hernia also make sure you go through the inguinal canal anatomy hernia types and surgeries turp and its complications salivary glands skull foramen and contents upper limb and lower limb nerves and in upper limb uh, nerve innervations and what is the conditions what are the signs and symptoms seen of each nerve palsies lower limb nerve which nerve innervates what muscle what is the action that is very important git embryology and the blood supply is very important in uh, x rays you will need to know the different types of chest trauma x rays the pleural effusion uh, the pneumothorax hemothorax all those things and intestinal signs for intussusception uh, intestinal obstruction uh, pneumoperitoneum all those things fractures and x rays in ct you need to know the kup signs the lung signs for bronchiectasis and other conditions head trauma signs and in mri the different brain disorder signs is very important and uh, you need to know the developmental milestones it is very very important neonatal resuscitation cephalhematoma caput succedaneum malnutrition breast milk and uh, breastfeeding epiglottitis group pneumonia heart condition asd vsd pda nephrotic syndrome in child and adults acute pph management in uh, uh, obstetrics and genetics and the disorders inherited the autosomal dominant recessive disorders preeclampsia abortion types ectopic pregnancy cervical cancers contraceptives different types everything is important primary secondary amenorrhea and its evaluation semen analysis molar pregnancy physiological changes in pregnancy very important ovarian cancers case control cohort studies uh, immunization schedule quali uh, versus daily so this question every year they ask i don't know why but this is very important rural health systems vitam vitamins and disorders vector borne diseases sensitivity versus specificity types of prevention the in c uh, in uh, psm important ent signs of the important uh, ent disorders national program aids blindness leprosy health systems middle ear anatomy metallic poisons op op poisoning uh, cpr and acls is very very important you need to know absolutely everything about it bullis disorders Uh, sexually transmitted disorders nuclear scans and uses vestula anderson salter uh, salter harris classification in orthopedics bone tumors knee joint and tears uh, acl mcl tears all those things and demographic cycle so these are the very very important topics that you need to must know in for the upcoming upscms